Okay, so let's do an example. So here is the problem we want to solve. Y dash equals xy, y of 0 equals 1. Quickly, we can see that x0 is 0, y0 is 1. The difference equation, uh, the differential equation can be written as yn plus 1 is equal to uh, xn, I'm sorry. So it's equal to yn plus h times uh, xn yn, okay? So that's our, uh, basically our difference equation. And of course we can simplify that a little bit and say that's just yn times one plus hxn. Now to start it off, we need a value of h of course, that's uh, very important. And we're gonna use h equals 0 0.1. This is usually provided in most questions. Um, when it comes to test time and exams or so on, you'll usually find that this is given by the instructor or the examiner, uh, the H value that is. So this tells us, of course, and then uh, our uh, can be further tweaked. Alongside here, we will generate uh, our X ends. Uh, so X1 is in fact um, equal to X0 plus uh, H, which is 0.1. So it's equal to, x0 is 0, so it's equal to 0 0.1. x2, okay, is equal to uh, x0 plus um, 0 0.1 times 2. So it's equal to 0 0.2 because x0 is 0. Okay, and so x3 is 0 0.3 similarly, x4 is 0 0.4 and so on. Okay, now... Um, so if we go to this, is, so here the x1 we will use is, is actually x1, which is 0 0.1. So this means this, when we use that, uh, we will get, in fact, 1.01 here. So let me just show you just to be safe. y1 is 1, 1 plus 0 0.1 times 0 0.1, and that's going to give me 1.01. Okay, let's move further. Um, in this example, y3 similarly is going to be uh, y2 times 1 plus 0.1 x2. And that is going to work out to be, let's see, y2 now, or let's do it here. y2 is going, y2 we've calculated is 1.01 into 1 plus 0.1 times the value of x2, which is here, is 0 0.2. We put that in here, and that tells us when we work that out, it's uh, 1.0302, okay? And similarly, we will work out the other values. So let's do one more, y4. y4 turns out to be 1.302, okay, which is the value of y3 times uh, 1 plus 0 0.1 into 0 0.3, and that works out to be 1.06. 1106 okay now what's important is for you to understand what have we actually done here the thing is to tabulate the results and everything will be clear so 0 x0 is in fact just read it off x0 is 0 and x and y0 is 1 we know that that's the initial condition next value um, x1 is so 1 x1 is 0 0.1 you'll see that here it's 0 0.1 and y1 is 1, uh, is 0 0.2, and the value here we have is for y2, in fact, okay, y2 is 1.01. And then the third value, uh, x3 is 0 0.3, okay, x3 is 0 0.3, and the value we calculated is 1.0302, and finally, all the work we we ended with just four, so that's 0.4, and the value we calculated is 1.061106. So this means this means you interpret it as follows: y of 0 0.4 is 1.061106. Someone asks, what is y at 0.2? It's equal to 1.01. So that's an actual actual value, actual answer. To the problem and uh, uh, y of t we have found y of oh, sorry y of x we found it this is tells us what it is so it's not a formula 
It's not telling us what the formula is, but it can tell us what the value is at each particular uh, step. At each particular value that we choose, we can calculate. Now, of course, one could say that, okay, what if I wanted to know what the value is at uh, 0.05 or 0.25? In order for me to do that, I'll have to change the H, of course, has to be adjusted. To calculate Y of 1, I have to keep going till uh, another, uh, in fact, Y of 1 will occur at um, step number 10. So at, uh, for instance, if I wanted to know what is, so if I wanted to know what is Y of 1, okay, so my question is what is Y of 1? I'll have to, in fact, sequentially go down all the way to N equals 10 and this should be then x10 will be 1 and this will be something I have to calculate. So this will be y10. I actually have to calculate y10. To get to y10, I need y9. To get y9, I need y8, y7, 6, 5, and 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So sequentially, we calculate each value. We cannot jump to the, to the value unless we know the nth term, which sometimes is possible. Uh, by the way, if the, if we if one notices a pattern, but otherwise, in general, we calculate this um, uh, using a, a computer. It's very easy to write. Very, very uh, little bit of code can actually generate hundreds of thousands of values uh, at any point that we desire.